six game win streak, we somehow have a minus one point differential. It's a testament to us winning close games, but we're not really killing anyone. But I love it. A rainy divisional game between the two best running backs in the NFL, Zeke and Saquon, at least in this. And we got to play some defense to win this one. Get that man. Nice tackle, Dalvin. Cover three back-to-back -back plays. That's incomplete. All right, let's get him off the field. We might have to blitz a little bit. So how big were those wins against Philly and the Rams, who are wild card contenders? Well, I mean, the Rams are probably in control of their own division, but... Oh, there's a sack. Bosa, baby. He's one away from double digits now. And the defense. Or sorry, the offense gets the job done. Goes down and scores. Now he's got to keep up with the defense. They're going to run it. Ugh. Good tackle. That second. Why is Bosa wearing two different colored shoes? What the hell? Oh, EA. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're probably going to need another free safety because Jalen Young just isn't getting the job done. We could have gone to Dakota Dixon, but I don't think it would have been much different. Oh, Collins. Playing pissed. Get him. Nice. I would love to be able to play more man. We said that was the scheme we wanted to run defensively, but our corners just are not good enough to do that. Is that Robbie Anderson? I think it is. All right, third and four. Can we get him off the field? Oh, I think he got it. Oh, fourth and inches. He's short. They're going to punt it? Yeah, right. That's a terrible call. The team would go for it 100% of the time, but all right. <laughs> And the offense goes and scores. Let's go. We're killing it. Oh, I like this play call. Loading up that side. Play action. Ogletree gets it. Pitch it. Get the ball. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. Maybe Ogletree. Good coverage. All right. Here we are again. Get the ball, Beal. Oh, you got beat. That would have been huge. Mari Cooper going to work. There we go. Oh, that's a fumble. What? I like being able to drop Lorenzo Carter into coverage on a play like that because he's so fast. Oh, shoot. Play action. Ah, he's third and inches. I feel like they're going to run it. Get him. Get him. Oh, what a run. Oh, I totally screwed that up. That was a great run by Zeke. Pretty looking run. All right, offense. Oh, God, our offense is good, man. We don't even have to play well when our offense is playing like this. It's a good Dallas defense that they're just taking care of. Ah, good, good D, good D. Probably smart to go for the SWAT there. Maybe we can get our get the ball back for our defense again, or our offense. Probably not gonna happen after that run. Watch the verts. Ooh. Look. Oh, they called a timeout for us. Thanks, Dallas. Thanks, thanks, Clapper.
Oh, nice hit. Still calling timeouts for us. All right, come on, Bosa. Get home. Oh, juked out of bounds. All right, let's return this punt. Actually, you know what? I got an idea. Let's get our best players on the field when we need them the most. Oh, he just blasted it out of bounds. Didn't even give me a chance. Jeez, the offense goes and scores again. All right. We just got to keep up the pressure here. Playing great defense. 106 yards so far. Tackle on Carter. Nice. Yeah, I love dropping Carter in coverage. It's a good way to use his uh, athleticism a little bit. He's kind of a pretty similar player to Leonard Floyd, I would say. Both players out of Georgia. Super athletic, lengthy dudes. Oh, yeah. All over it. Oh, get the ball, Major. It's all good. Looks like they're going to stick to the run, even though they really shouldn't. Run to you stepping up today. False start. They still got Connor Williams in there, huh? <laughs> Figured they would have replaced him by now. There you go, Bosa. Plays the run, too. God, we were lucky to get him. Keep up with him. Keep up with him. There you go, Bosa. He comes from the other side of the field to make that play. Nice. They don't call him two shoe Nick for nothing. Offense gets another field goal. I really want to get this 10th sack with Bosa before we have to sim the last week. They're going to be passing now. They have to. Oh, God, it was close. He's really bringing the pressures. This seems like a run. Nope. Oh, we jumped that so well. Go the right way. God, I hate that. Oh, well, maybe Fromm will throw it in. I wait so long to press forward on the up stick, and he still runs the, the wrong way. Looks like we got, a, we got a touchdown there. I wonder what happened. Still three tight ends. They seem to have given up. <laughs> Maybe we get a play action sack here. Eighty-eight passing yards for Dak in the rain. Sweet run. They are in no hurry. It's all right. We'll let them keep chewing 30 seconds off the clock every play. This is the definition of garbage time right here. Oh! Good D, Collins. Good D, Young. All right, Dak, you need the first down. Hold on to it long enough so I can sack you. Oh! Dropped it. These D-backs are doing a good job breaking up these balls. All right, this is field goal. Are you kidding me? What are you doing kicking field goals? Let's block this garbage. Gosh. GG, no re. Dallas. All right, I'm going to send to the end. 
Actually... Okay, we got to the end anyway. Wow, convincing win. I'm curious who's going to have the tiebreaker now for the division. Really hope Bosa can get another sack next week in the simulation so we can get to double digits. Regardless, you love how he played through the second half of this game and this era, this uh, season. He really came on. Fromm continues to be just splendid. Just some, uh, some growing pains, it seems, but he's going to finish as a serious MVP candidate. And I would think that that was some good ground for Saquon over Zeke in the running running uh, award. Sterling Shepard, wow. We wanted him to get to 1,000 yards, get some more touchdowns. He does it. 12 catches. Jeez. And we know what our defense did. So we're going to finish with Washington here. We'll be in the playoffs. First playoff game for Pat Shermer and Jake Fromm. And it looks like Dallas still has the tiebreaker, so that's too bad because we'd be probably looking at the one seed. So let's see. We got the same winning percentage. We're tied head-to-head. -head. Uh, you look at division, right? Well, we're 4-1, and one, but they're 4-2, and two, so I think we'd actually pass them if we beat Washington. If the game does everything right, which is asking a lot. So Fromm picks up another NFC Player of the Week. Let's just check if he is in the MVP race here. He has now moved up to third. Or shoot, what am I looking at? Saquon is third. Fromm's actually fallen down somehow. What about best quarterback? Second, ahead of Wentz. So there's a chance. That'd be huge to get that as a rookie. He'd definitely go up to superstar. But even just winning Offensive Rookie of the Year would be huge. So let's take a look at the upgrades. Jeez, a bunch of them, including Jake Fromm. There's a good upgrade. Get a block shedding and some zone. God, he's just a beast. 90 acceleration now. There you go, Shepard. Two release, two deep route, and an acceleration. Jake Fromm. A little strong arm here. Oh, I thought he might have gotten a throw power there. Three awareness, though. Levert Hill. He's coming along. Ooh, there's a good upgrade. All right, come on, New York. Let's close this out. Beat Washington. Let's finish strong. Let's have a huge game for Fromm. Get, like, all the awards. Ooh, 27-22, and we won the NFC East. Yes, thank you, Madden, for working properly. That's huge. I think we have the number one seed. From four touchdowns, one pick. So he finishes with 15 picks on the year. That's not bad at all for a rookie. Saquon, a little quiet. Odell finishes strong. Evan Ingram gets a touchdown. Burnett. The defense... Oh, Bosa gets a half sack. That actually might be enough. He might have been at nine and a half. <laughs> and Sam Beal gets one. So let's see. Let's do stats first. This is a good stopping point. It might be a shorter ep Not right now. We'll look through stats and awards. But um, we'll, we'll do our playoffs for the next episode. It's a good transition point. So great year for Fromm. Barkley with 1,700 yards. God, this offense is explosive, isn't it? Shepard comes up just short of 1,000 yards, but a good season, 95 receptions. For the defense, yeah, Bosa gets up to 10 sacks. Buckner gets 9. Big uh, year for Sam Beal. So how about the awards? Uh, Zeke gets MVP. Fromm finishes third. Surprised we didn't get Coach of the Year over Jason Garrett, considering we won the division. Zeke gets Offensive Player, Defensive Player of the Year, Leighton Vander Esch. Deion Jones came in hot at the end there. Do get Offensive Rookie. Are you kidding me? God, the NFC East is just loaded in this rebuild. Zeke steals Best Running Back. We did steal, not steal, we earned Best Wide Receiver, Odell. Will Hernandez, fifth for offensive lineman. Good to have a guy in that award. This Giants offensive line's been so bad. So Nick Bosa comes in as a finalist for best defensive lineman. No one for linebacker. Sam Beal comes up just short. Dante Jackson gets it. And then we did win best kicker. So let's take a look at our 
Uh, before we do upgrades, actually, let's coast through and just kind of look at who got development traits. So, Jake Fromm does go up to Superstar, makes the Pro Bowl. Let's go ahead and just kind of do these one by one, change things up a little bit here. So, we're going to go with a Field General. And a Strong Arm. Ooh, he gets a Throw Power Boost. That was a great upgrade. So he's up to 95 throw power. So he's killing it. Saquon. Looks like he loses a development trait after making the Pro Bowl. That's not going to slide. Let's fix that. This is what I'm talking about. These garbage development trait regression things. This was in my franchise wish list. Just drove me insane. We're going to go power back. Here's a trucking. That's all we really wanted. He's just 23 years old. How about the wideouts? Hodell. He doesn't even get one, <laughs> even though he made the Pro Bowl wide receiver of the year. Shepard's going to keep his quick. How about these guys? All right, they stayed put. Evan Ingram goes down to normal, and I would say that's actually warranted. That was last year he went down to normal. He just hasn't really done much for us, you know? Soldier's as good as gone. I don't think linemen really change, unless Hernandez went up. Made the Pro Bowl. But yeah, I've never really seen the linemen change their development traits. Kind of some weak upgrades there. Ben Cleveland didn't make the Pro Bowl, but that's all right. He's developing pretty well. He's a beast for us. How about these D linemen? So Carter, I think. So yeah, he's quick. He stays quick. He had a much better year for sure. And then Bosa, he goes up to superstar. Let's go in his second year. So he only needs 4,000 XP. Jeez. He's going to be an absolute monster by the end of this rebuild. Holy hell. How about these guys? Buckner. He goes up. So he had lost his star dev, and he earns it back without us having to even change that. Dalvin doesn't earn anything. Not a surprise there. Somehow BJ Hill keeps his, even though he didn't really start. The linebackers... Deion Jones lost his again. We'll just leave that. Because I don't think he necessarily killed it. Let's see. Yeah, his tackles were off. Only one pick. I'm okay with that. He had his worst year, statistically. Sam Beal. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, EA? What the hell is wrong with your game? Sam Beal had an absolute breakout season. He was second in... God, I hate this game, dude. So bad. He, he broke out this year. He made big plays. He freaking makes the Pro Bowl. And he loses a development trait? What the actual f***? Now we gotta come in and manually do this crap. Like, if anything, he should have gone up. That's absolute garbage, EA. Are you kidding me? Collins went down after making the Pro Bowl. That's fine. Superstar is a different standard than star. God, this game just drives me up a freaking wall sometimes, man. All right. Oh, did our punter make the Pro Bowl? He did. Get these. Better get these awareness traits. <laughs> There's our kicker. Get these awareness traits. Oh yeah, oh yeah, what an upgrade. <laughs> well, Sam Beal's gonna enter next year. Wow, no coverage boosts there. Enter next year as our number one corner for sure. And I think Dakota Dixon will, should probably have played more this year, but that's all right, we had a good year. Wow, three elusiveness for Higdon, he needed that. 
All right, so we can go ahead to next week because we got that first round by. We'll find out who we're going to play at the start of next episode. The Cowboys. Who else? <laughs> I love it. Setting up for a fantastic game. Play the moments. When we come back with the next episode, please hit that like button, guys. Helps me out a lot. Cheers as always, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye.